Okay. I'm scared to death. <laughs> I am too. I've never. Have you ever done this? All no. right, let's I'm scared to on. death. Wait, can we start with something okay? easy? We're scared. You're scared. <laughs> Johnny Depp. Sweeney Todd. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Movie Phones Unscripted. I'm Tim Burton, uh, here with Johnny Depp, and we're here to talk about our film, Sweeney Todd, and uh, take questions from you all. This is from Helen, Middlesbrough, England. What's the strangest thing that I have ever asked you to do for a movie? <laughs> wow. I think I can answer that one. How much time do you have, <laughs> Helen? Because uh, we, this is a very long list here. There was a morning that I arrived on set of uh, Sleepy Hollow, and um, Tim Tim w showed me the. Uh, he called me to set, and, you know, and said this is what we're going to be doing for the next few days. And and uh, there was uh, there were two very large horses, and and they and there, there was a what do you call it part of a carriage sort of left left uh, strapped uh, attached to the horses, and um, I was going to be holding on to that. Uh, being dragged through the <laughs> through the muck and other stuff uh, for the next two days. Yeah. And the horse and had some bad uh, gastro problems as well, which probably yeah. didn't help very much. I think I think the, I think the, the yeah those horses were fond of uh, curry. I could still smell them. This is Linda from Fetus Mo. How did you two us two first meet, and what was your first impression of Johnny? Well, you funny, enough, you should say, yeah. funny enough, remember we, we met in that coffee shop in Fetus. Yeah. We, we was, <laughs> both happened to be passing through Fetus. We just left Trotter's Bottom. Yeah, it was very... It was on Edward Scissorhead, you know. I, I didn't know Johnny, and uh, I, I just, you know, uh, I don't even think I even... I, I didn't really know you from that show or thing. I just... Yeah. Just we just met, and I think from the moment uh, I met Johnny, uh, it was like uh, completely right for the part, and just uh, you know we've done several things since, and it's it, it just was one of those rare experiences where you know you just meet somebody and you know you, you connect with them, you know as a person and as an artist, and uh, you know it was pretty much immediate. Uh, Johnny, what was your process for becoming Sweeney Todd, and where did you get your inspiration from? I suppose it was very different than most than most movies, you know, than, than most characters, because the, the character actually kind of came out of the out of the singing, out of the out of the you know the the, the words, Sondheim's words, his melodies, his his kind of you know the emotion that the that the arrangements kind of evoke. Um, so yeah, that's that's sort of where I first I heard him before I saw him, I guess. But also, you know, like like we'd talked about early on, like you know, these great old silent films, silent film stars like Lon Chaney, and and then on into you know the next generation of actors like Peter Lorre and you know Boris Karloff. Yeah, we've been talking about that for a long time. Those kind of actors. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was fun. It was first time I had the opportunity to do that. Uh, I've read that sometimes you like to keep souvenirs from your movie projects. Did you keep anything from the set? Uh, you know. I can't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't Did you steal anything, anything from the <laughs> set? <though? laughs> no, no, I, 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 just, I took nothing. No, I did. Um, I think there were a couple. I had a set of the razors. I think they that they um, sent me. I think you got a set of the razors as well. I think they made a couple sets. Yes. And um, you know, you know, bits and bobs, which I always kind of do for, you know, after a movie. I think it's good to. You know, take that stuff and put it away for the you know the kiddies can you know when they're all grown up they can sort of check it out someday. You know? uh, is it true that I heard you kept a couple of cast members? Uh, yeah, I kept Deep Roy. <laughs> I kept I, Deep Roy is uh, it lives yeah. in my yeah, in your in, basement. He lives in the basement. <laughs> Which of you has the harder job, the actor or the director? Well, it's a good question. Would you ever consider trading places with Johnny on a future project? <laughs> That's a great uh, question. 
Well, from my point of view, I think he's got the harder job. You know, I think, I mean, for me, I, you know, I always enjoy watching Johnny do his thing. I particularly like Sweeney Todd, though. I, I did enjoy that character. But, you know, seeing him do that, seeing you do that, and you and singing something you've never done before, you know, that was, I thought, a very difficult musical. I mean, I think that was, you know, really difficult job. I mean, you make it look kind of effortless, but... Believe me, singing and uh, doing all of that, and you know, having to dress up in those weird get-ups and all our in women's clothing, in women's clothing, <laughs> or whatever you're wearing, you know, strapped in leather, head to toe, the scissors on your hand, or whatever you, you know you're doing, it's uh, you know, it's very amazing. And no, I, I don't think I would. Uh, I'm not. I'm not an actor, really. I, can't, I, I, could, I don't think I could do it. I see, I think your heart is, your, your, your job is infinitely, infinitely uh, uh, harder than mine. I mean, I, you know, I just go in and basically, the, in, in the actor, to try to do something, you know, give the director that options. That's true. Right? I do have to watch the movies a lot more than yeah. you do. You so have to watch right. it. That is more yeah. painful, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you had a chance to turn any of your movies into reality and meet those characters, which film would it be and Why? Uh, and meet those characters. Wow. Um, I don't think it wouldn't be Willy Wonka. <laughs> I don't, don't want to meet him. I don't want to meet him. Yeah. I don't yeah, think. I, I, I agree with you there. Um, you know, yeah. And, and Sweeney, uh, Sweeney, I think, might, <laughs> no. might be a little complicated also. <laughs> yeah. I think they're all best left on the screen. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. You know. Yeah. yeah. Maybe to Edward Scissorhands. You know. Yeah. Yeah. But... It's best that they just stay in the movie, yes. <laughs> do you remember any of your earliest drawings? What inspires you to draw the way you do? Um, yeah, well, you know, I mean, I think most kids like, you know, to draw. So I think, you know, everybody, you know, you know I, I recall not being any different than anybody else that way. I think the thing is, is that you just, some people just continue doing it. Yeah. And I think I just... D did you know? I didn't really care if I was even any good. It was just kind of fun to do. Yeah, I remember. Like, Edward, Edward came out of, like he came yeah. right out of your youth. I mean, he yeah, I just was doing him. little sketches, or you know, whether it was that or the Jack Skellington character. Yeah, you know, just right. those kind of things you don't even think about. You just draw, you know. And like I said, I I I, I remember thumbing through that sketchbook and seeing. Uh, like a sketch of Sweeney Todd, and it, you know, it just and then, of course, it was, it was just for me, it was just completely you, and I, you know, that's a, from a while back, you know. Oh, room service. The pizzas arrived. <laughs> what is the best thing a fan has ever said to you, and what's the craziest? Oh, I don't know. There've been some pretty pretty odd ones. <laughs> um, I mean, I haven't gotten like. You know, I haven't gotten this sort of that weird. You know, what's the frequency, Kenneth? Kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. But but um, there have been some pretty obtuse ones. I guess the weirdest one, the one that, that is most fascinating to me, is you'll be somewhere and and someone you know will come up and say, you know, ask you if you're you. Are you you? Are you John? You know, are you, are you Johnny? De and then you, you say, you know, yeah. And then they go, no, you're not. And you just like find yourself in a position okay. where, it, exactly. So you say okay, and then they say, but you are, and you know. So this is this kind of odd back and forth. <laughs> that um, it's like a. We did, we did somebody ask you once from another country? Do you believe in what was that? I was asked if I believed in goats. <laughs> goats. That was a journalist. And do you believe in goats? I do believe in goats. <laughs> more and more. Yeah, good. I believe in goats. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Did you always want to be an actor? Uh, and if not, what was your childhood dream? I, did, I, I, don't, I, don't, I never wanted to be an actor, really. I don't, I, I'm still not sure I want to be an actor. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I was a musician more than anything, so that was, I guess that was my, my real childhood dream. You know, at, From the age of about 12, I just wanted to play music, I just wanted to play the guitar in, you know, in bands and stuff. Um, before that, you know, I'd, you know, Pretty normal childhood dreams. I wanted to, I wanted to be Evil Knievel for a minute or two. Well, now that he's dead, maybe, maybe you I can. can feel that. Yeah. yeah, 
I'll get you a white jumpsuit. That, and uh, I wanted to be one of the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> Curly. I wanted to be Metal goose. Lark Lemon. I wanted to be geese. <laughs> was it goose or geese? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, you know, you could always play in a movie, you know. There's still time. One of the Harlem... You could do the Harlem Globetrotters. Right? Play all of them. I'm going <laughs> to... As Abe Vigoda. Um, oh, we're done. Uh, thank you, Johnny. Uh, and movie phone. And, and, and for you watching and sending in your questions, uh, please join us again next week when our guests will be uh, Harlem Globetrotters and... Uh, Abe Vigoda. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, what you got to say. Uh, you are very good at this. You are very good at this. <laughs> That's hard. Ha cha 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 cha.